less focused voice, right? Um, kind of exactly what we expected it to be. Uh, with the koa, it has a really natural, woody kind of sound. And um, all together, it's a great finger picking guitar, great for light strumming, not something you can see a bluegrass on. But all in the details, all elegant stuff. Um, and when you get to take a look, you know, things like the black white inlay here, black maple fiber, the miters on it, um, all the elegant stuff. It's understated, but it's a beautiful, beautiful piece. So this is just one of them. This one, 0012 fret, uh, with an amber burst, again in koa, kind of like koa. It has a blue power binding. Yeah. Can you change the... Uh, sure. Go for... Bagel. Yeah, I'll go for bagel. Yeah, that's fine. Bigger one? Yeah, Martin Guitar. Do you have some kind of a logo from Martin Guitar? Uh, let's see. Martin, Martin logo. How's that? So only guitar or big size guitar? Um, no. That's the only logo we have. We're filming <laughs> you, for Korean TV, right? <laughs> yeah. Korean yeah. TV. Yeah. Um, so 0012 fret, um, you know, pyramid bridge, uh, blue power. Really beautiful pearl, which really stands out. Right? <coughs> Anytime you use power, it's really, really colorful. And these are great ideas for, uh, like I said, the elements where you combine different things and have a particular look and feel to them. This one, again, being a small body, has a nice focused sound with the cutaway, of course. Get up nice and high. Again, small body color, you kind of get the idea of the, the sound of a smaller body guitar. Sitka top on this? This one is, uh, let's see. <coughs> I have to look at this one. This one is Angleman. Oh, Angleman is out of our back braces. <laughs> so it's kind of got that different combination, which makes it really snappy. <laughs> yeah, right. Still large. Has a really nice, bigger sound, but it has a nice delicate sound that you can play softly as well to get the tune out. It does going to be one of my, one of my questions I, I can add, but mm -hmm. the bracing, there's different ways of bracing that match up differently with different types of tops. Normally, the uh, bracing species will follow the top species. So, for example, Adirondack will get Adirondack braces. Um, other than that, there's no angling braces or anything. So, basically, your choices with bracing are Adirondack or Sitka. Um, generally, it stays Sitka on everything else, Angleman. Alpine um, and Adirondack goes with Adirondack pretty much exclusively. It doesn't mean you can't mix and match them, it's just we haven't really done a lot of that. That's one of the examples where we do it. Um, and it has some effect, you know, it's not a, not a huge effect um, or, or one that you can attribute just to that aspect alone. It's always a combination. So you know, there's a certain clarity that I think that lads to it having sticker braces. Um, so maybe it's not. Uh, Maybe it has less dynamics than it would if it had an Adirondack top as well. Yeah. Then it would probably be a little thinner sound. Of course, this one. Uh, this is actually an oversized Dreadnought 45. <coughs> and this one was taken basically on the dimensions out of the one in the museum. And I think it was a, a 40s, 1942 maybe. Uh, and the interesting thing, when we pulled it out of the museum and went to go uh, blueprint it and figure it out, was that it was a little bigger than the regular dreadnought. <laughs> it was a little bit off kilter, it was a little asymmetrical. So we decided to do exactly that. So this guitar is not an exact D45. Um, it's a little bit bigger. It is built with hide glue, um, has an odd deck top. Um, <coughs> I think it has a T-bar, yep, it has a T-bar construction. So very, very much like an authentic style guitar, but in a 45. And this thing, of course, just has a huge, huge 
huge sound, pretty much everything you'd expect in a dreadnought. <laughs> Ask me as many questions as you like. Um, this is one of my favorite guitars. Um, again, with the Koa. <laughs> I don't know. I like Koa, um, but there are some others, some Madagascar and things. How is Martin's supply of Koa? Pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Enough so they keep giving me stuff to. to go to <laughs> it's, it's been nice. Um, this is a triple oak bow fret. It's got quilted bubinga binding, which I love saying too. It's like Madame Goni bubinga is a great word. And really good terms in guitar making. Um, this one has the, the same amber burst on it, uh, fossil ivory pins, the saddle, um, again with the blue paddle and the waver tuners. And 12 fret guitars are probably my favorite, uh, just because of the way that I play. So I usually play with my nails and fingers. <coughs> and for me, they ring really, really true. They ring really brightly and loudly, and it, everything kind of comes together. And that's kind of why I like those. Again, it's all about that personal choice. Listen to this one because I think that you know we try and play things that actually accentuate the guitar and really work well on. Like I said I wouldn't necessarily play bluegrass stuff on this or Bill Monroe stuff on this, but stuff that I play on it works really well. sings well on this kind of, yeah. kind of instrument. Um, so, the right tool for the right job is what we're really all about. 
Um, What's the top on that? Is that this a, one's Angleman as well. Angleman. Yeah. You know, you'll see common themes here because uh, as we design guitars, we kind of see what we like, what's worked really well, and Cohen and Angleman seem to respond really, yeah. really well together. Um, and you know, there's no right answer. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of what you like. And luckily, we get to design some of the things that we like. <laughs> really, really fun. Um, and the last one, there's a couple others here but that you can take a look at, but I won't bore you with all of the, the details of them. This one's Madagascar. Um, this is basically an OM or a triple O, 14 fret. Uh, this one, I believe, has Alpine top. Pretty sure. Yep. An Alpine top, uh, coa binding, beautiful floral inlay, and uh, the uh, Head plating right here, of course, you can see the outline in Mother of Pearl, so it's power with Mother of Pearl borders. So, really exquisite piece. And as a triple O, and also with um, the Madagascar Rosewood, it's going to sound differently than those other ones do, right? Koa has a lot of clarity. So, same guitar, same, same song, just to give you an idea of what the difference is. between the player you are versus the player you want. <laughs> <laughs> That's a problem. You know, you know, like luckily, um, I, I'm exposed to a lot of great guitars, and a great guitar for me always inspires me to want to play more. Mm -hmm. yeah. The more I play it, the more it plays me back, and I want to learn more and play more, and it's just a cycle that you get into. And then a few years later, you get sick of it, and you want a new one. <laughs> That's what happens. And you come down, and you buy a new guitar. Um, but yeah, I, th I think that's true. 